Google Sheets, another wonderful Google product, probably underused um, because many people don't use spreadsheets because they're intimidated by them. But spreadsheets are really a very helpful tool if you get to use them. So, and they're great in all subject areas. And I've got some listed on the email, some different content areas and some different kinds of ways that you can use spreadsheets. But right now, I'd just like to give you a little basic spreadsheet knowledge. So you can access your spreadsheets from going here to Sheets, or if you're in your drive, you can create a new Google Sheet. Now I've already pre-copied some data, so I'm going to just go ahead and paste that into my spreadsheet by clicking in the cell where I want to start, and I'm going to just paste that in there. So um, you can enter text, you can enter numbers, However, if you want numbers to create charts and graphs, you can't mix um, numbers and letters. So you wouldn't want to put 42 inches because if you do that, then it will not make a graph. So I can format this. I, you notice I didn't capitalize it. So I can either come in here and capitalize it this way and then just hit enter, or I can just start typing and it will and then again hit enter and it will change as I type so let's change some names and so there are my pumpkins so the next thing that I can do is I can copy data just so you know this I can just type in something here and then if I click enter and then I come back into the cell, you'll see this little blue box. And if I grab that plus sign, drag it down, then I can make it just copy items. So for example, I can just copy that right there. Let me undo that. If you want to create a list, so you can start a list, and then you need to select both cells that you want, then go ahead and grab your um, little blue box and it will make a list like a numbered list. Spreadsheets are really helpful and, and very great for time saving. You can move row height and um, the, the width so I can just move them by just clicking on between the A's and the B's. I can click and do that. I can also, I've got a whole thing here where I can insert them or cut rows or columns or whatever I want to do. Same kind of thing with rows. If I click here, drag that down, I can go ahead and add that in there. The other thing that I can do is let's just say that I have another word here that's really, really long. And let's go ahead and make this small, this column smaller. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, so you can't see the whole thing that's in here. I can do text wrapping. So if I want to do it just for that cell, I just select, select that cell. If I want to do it for the whole column, I can do that. And I just come up here to Format, Text Wrapping, and go to Wrap. And then it automatically wraps my, um, my words. So I'm going to get rid of that. And we'll go back to that. The other thing is I can select a whole, a whole row or I can select a whole column to format, or I can select the whole sheet by clicking in this box right up here. So what, what you might want to do is click, create, create um, bolded highlights for that. So I can go here, select that whole row, bold it. Maybe I want to change the font size on this one so that people can actually see it. The other thing I can do is since circumference doesn't fit, I can just double click and it'll automatically open. Seed count doesn't fit, and it'll automatically open. Okay, um, I can also color it. So I might just select those rows. I can use the paint can and color those rows there. All right, so now I wanna make a chart. To make a chart, there's a couple ways. So I just click in the graph or in the spreadsheet somewhere. Yeah, I can't click in an empty cell. I have to click in something that has data in it. And then I can either go to insert chart or I can just come over here to insert chart. 
So I'm going to go ahead and insert a chart. It's going to ask me, it's going to give me some recommendations, what I think, what they think that I want. Or I can have the option to come here to ch uh, chart types and I can take a look at what I want. But I'm just going to stick with this regular old bar graph right here. And I'm going to insert that. I can move it. I can make it smaller. I can make it larger, however I want to do that. Okay, so the other thing is this, this graph, this chart is tied to your data. So if I change this 13, which is going to be sleepy, and it's my seed count, so it's going to be my last one here. If I change that 13 to, let's say, 500, and I hit enter, it automatically changes that. So let me go back to 13 so you can see that change again. The other thing I can do is I can add another column. So let's call this silly and we'll just put some numbers in here just for fun. And you can see how they automatically get added to my graph, my chart. So there you go. So um, this is really a nice um, tool to, to use and it's very instantaneous for students to see. I can copy this and paste it into a slideshow or into a document as well. You don't need to use all of the data in the spreadsheet for your graphs and charts. What you can do is just select certain data right there, and then I'll go to insert a chart. And there's my circumference, and I just say insert. And there's my chart for just circumference. So I can choose the data that I want in my chart as well. Another thing that people can use is the, the little tabs at the bottom. So maybe this class right here, if I have the sheet one, I can go ahead and rename this. And all I have to do is go here to rename, and I can call this grade 3A. And then maybe I want to color it. So maybe I want to color it so it's easy to see, and you can see that it's blue. I can add a sheet by just hitting this plus sign, and then I can rename this sheet right here and so I can call that grade 3B and of course I can color this one as well let's make that purple um, I can if I don't want the order I can switch the order around you can see all sheets right here so you know which one which sheet you're on so those are really really helpful the other thing that you can do is you can sort data. So let's just say I want to sort this data and I want it sorted by which pumpkin is the highest. So I'm going to select all of my data just by clicking in this box right here. And I'm going to come up here to, to data and I'm going to go to sort. And so I want to tell it that data has a header row and I don't want to sort it by pumpkins. I actually want to sort it by height. And I'll do it in A to Z order. And there we go. It automatically did that. And then it also changed my graph as well. So sorting is really a handy tool as well. Last thing is that you can calculate. Your graph can, your uh, spreadsheet can calculate for you. So let's just say that I wanted to have the sum of all these numbers. And actually, I'll just come down here and put it down here. There's a little function key here where there's sum and so I want the sum and I want to just drag those there and I'm going to hit enter and it will automatically add them for me. The other way to do that is I can come here and I can start a, format, a formula by equals and you can see my formula here equals and then I'm going to choose um, the column and the row so C2 C2 and then I'll do plus and then I'm going to do C3, and then a plus, C4, and then a plus, and then C5. And I'm just going to hit return, enter. And there, it automatically adds all of those up for me. I can also just do, let's just multiply um, B2 times D4. So I can equals, and I could do B2 times d4 and it will automatically calculate those for you so there's a lot of already 
pre-built functions there and there's more functions here as well. I don't think it's as complete probably as um, Excel is, but there are a lot of um, a lot of different functions and you can see the operator here. You can come here and it will show you all of these that I don't really understand, nor do I really want to understand those. So the last thing I want to talk about is um, formatting and editing. So let's, well, I already did that a little bit here. I can also just highlight whatever I want, change the font. So I can make that permanent marker. I can make it bold. I can change the size. I can change the color. So there's a lot of things that you can do with editing as well. Let's see. There we go. Okay. And I think that's it. So those are all saved in your drive. Here it is right here, saved in my drive. Oh, last thing. Make sure you title it. Ah. So we'll just put pumpkin graphs. And I hope this has been a little bit helpful to you, and I hope that you use spreadsheets um, with your students because it really is a wonderful tool.